So a few weeks ago, I was sitting there, I'm watching anime or some shit. You know, you know, I'm concentrating on trying not to install 40 viruses because I wanted to watch Darling in the Franks. And as the anime finishes, you know, as that somber, depressing music starts to fill my ears, I look to my left at my second monitor, which is where I keep Discord, and I am greeted with about 50 fucking people playing Genshin Impact. And the first thought that pops in my head is, wow, this show fucking sucks. But after that, I'm thinking, what the fuck is Genshin Impact? So I do a quick Google search, and I am blown away by this game. Holy shit, does this look fun. The graphics are incredible, the characters look interesting, they're doing cool moves, and you can play it with friends? Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. Hey, you guys wanna see something cool? I'm about to make you my bitch. And now you are 100% forced to subscribe to me. Only 2.6 of you guys are subscribed. Get on that shit. Also, only 25% of my viewers actually make it to the end of the video. So if you do make it to the end, leave me a comment saying that you did, and I'll do the little heart thingy on your comment. Okay, back to the video. Genshin Impact is a free-to-play open-world anime RPG for like every platform except for Xbox. Uh, not sure why that is. Maybe there's more weebs on PS4 or something. I was so ready for this to be an amazing game. I was ready to like, you know, spawn in, you know, beat some fucking goblin ass, clap some cheeks, and call it a day. And dude, god damn, whoever was in charge of the graphics and music deserves a fucking service medal. Look at these visuals! Like, look at this! How the fuck you expect me not to play this shit out of that? Every track on the soundtrack makes you cream your pants harder than the last. First, they hit you with that basic adventure thing, you know that? You know, pr pr pretty good, pretty good. You know, pretty average, I'd say, I'd say. And then right when you start getting bored, BAM! Then they got that jumpy music for inside of taverns and shit. And then the boss music shows up and it's like, okay, time for everyone else to get the fuck out of my way. All of this is well and good, but a wise man once said, Graphics and music don't make a game fun. Gameplay makes a game fun. Who is that wise man, Joe? Me, Nick. So if gameplay is what makes a game fun, then what is the gameplay of Genshin? That's it. Every combo, every fight, every cutscene is just click mouse one forever. Spam clicking mouse one will make a character do a pre-written set of attacks. The closest thing to real combos is like synergizing the elemental effects. Each character has their own unique ability that makes each of them special. Wait, where have I seen that before? Wait, where have I seen that before? This game is literally just Breath of the Wild. I know for a fact that I'm not the first one to say this, but god damn, this is just anime Breath of the Wild. Think about it. Stamina based climb anything mechanics. Stamina based gliding. You only have four weapon options, those being one handed, two handed, spears, and bows. It's an open world grass simulator. Shrines that pop out of the ground. I could go on for like 20 minutes listing all the shit that is copied from Breath of the Wild in this game. But come on, just look at this shit. They're not even trying to hide it. Even the trailers look the same. Genshin Impact just takes every beautiful and refined mechanic from Breath of the Wild and gives you a shittier version of it. The climbing is frustrating. The combat is boring. The puzzles are brain dead easy. Like. For real, is following a ghost to a pedestal, or using lightning magic on three rocks labeled with lightning, are those puzzles? No, by definition, these are not puzzles. Quote, designed to amuse by presenting difficulties to be solved by ingenuity or patient effort. These puzzles present no difficulty and require no effort. They aren't puzzles, they're chores. And nobody likes to do chores. Like what are these gem things? I'm not even gonna pretend I understand how to pronounce this. They're just there. They're not even hidden behind puzzles or anything. Like they're even marked on the map. What is the challenge here? Is it supposed to be an incentive to go to a new area? Like, look, you can't grab this one unless you go up that mountain. But I could not give less of a fuck about these things. Ooh, eight more stamina and 100 XP, I'm gonna fucking knock. The incentive to go somewhere cool should be that it's a cool place to go. The incentive to climb a mountain isn't the Korok at the top. The incentive to climb a mountain is the mountain. 
Oh, dude, look at that mountain over there. I bet there's a sweet geoculus up there, said nobody ever. The measure of literally any open world game is its ability to have a player get lost and immersed in its world. And to its credit, that happened to me a lot in Genshin. I spent probably 20 hours looking for cool shit, and I found a lot of cool shit. I found so many incredible views and ruins, so many incredible moments, and this is something that Genshin actually does extremely well. Semicolon, however, comma, the world becomes stale extremely quickly. The math is incredibly repetitive. Real quick, let's do a test. Which part of the map am I in right now? Death Mountain, right? That was easy. Okay, how about now? Gerudo Desert. Easy as shit. Now I'm in Zora's Domain. Lost Woods. Etc. Every single area in Breath of the Wild is completely distinct from all the rest. Every area introduces a new mechanic, has a new theme, and is visually unique. Now, let's do that same test with Genshin Impact. What area of the map am I in right now? And we failed already. The entire map looks identical. There is no way to differentiate this forest from this forest, and this empty grass plain from this empty grass plain. And the enemy variety is in the exact same boat. Like, why are there five enemies, man? Genshin's idea of enemy variety is, look, here's the same enemy, but it has a shield now! Are you not entertained? Fighting the Ruin Guard was really fun the first time I got to do it, but then you fight him like 17 times! The only difference between any of these enemies is the time it takes to kill them. Being a lower level doesn't make a fight harder, it just makes it take longer. The combat is frustratingly easy. In my 25 hours of playing this game, I have never once died. I've, I've had characters faint from fall damage, but never once a full game over. And at this point, I would not be surprised if it just looked like this. Look guys, a blue slime that has no ability, and a fire slime that explodes when defeated. Kinda reminds me of this other game I played a few years ago. The combat just feels like a shittier version of that in Breath of the Wild. You have the same button mashy moves, but there's just so many unique options and ways to approach every encounter in Breath of the Wild that aren't reflected in Genshin. In Breath of the Wild, you can roll rocks into enemies, blow them up, get bees to attack them, freeze them, perfect dodges, time slows, parries. You can pick up a metal box and drop it on a Bokoblin's head. All of these tiny details add up to prevent combat from going stale. They also make it feel like you're actually in an open world. You can use the environment around you to help you defeat the enemies. In Genshin, there are no options to combat. Every encounter is either hold or spam mouse one until everything dies. You occasionally might have to dodge an attack and occasionally you can blow up a barrel that's sitting next to an enemy. Also, what is the point of the party system? It adds nothing to the game. You could just as easily have the main character equip the other weapons and cycle through elements like the fucking avatar and it wouldn't change anything about the game. It's really just a massive oversight to not have any... You know what? I get it now. They already act like the other characters don't exist. Every time you enter a cutscene, it instantly swaps to the MC and forgets everything you have done up to this point. Wait, did did he just use the wind element? I have him attuned to Earth right now. Oh shit, I'm getting my ass beat in this cutscene, dude. If only I had an entire party of eight people that could help me out here. Or how about the guard that stands right there, 24 hours a day? Where did he go? <laughs> The story is a piece of shit. It's a constant loop of sprinting from one unskippable cutscene to the next, spamming through the cringeworthy dialogue, beating some random enemy in three hits, and then doing it again. Forever. Real quick, let me break down this tutorial for you. It starts with this fucker narrating the backstory, which they could have just spent 10 extra seconds and shown me. That's like, story writing 101, show don't tell. So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? How many years ago was it? I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. It's been years? What? What the fuck have you been doing this whole time? Why didn't they just show him falling to the ground and Paimon finding him like in the trailer? But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone until I met you two months ago. Wait, 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 wait. They've known each other for two months? Why are you telling Paimon your backstory like you just met? Speaking of Paimon, fuck Paimon. She is biologically engineered to be the most annoying motherfucker conceivable by humankind. Yeah, Paimon really 
owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. She's literally only there to stop you from having fun. What the hell? Is this guy, is this guy about to go and explore in an open world game? You better, you better stop doing that. And if I see one more Paimon emergency food joke, I'm gonna lose it! This is the most wildly overused and most wildly unfunny joke on the planet. I'm gonna lose my mind, man. Anyways, the tutorial continues and you slowly find yourself with no way out of the starting area. Like, there's a rock wall. Gosh, I can't walk up this. I can't swim far enough away. What do I do? I'm so lost. Genshin truly is the Dark Souls of anime RPGs. The path ends here. Guess we'll just have to climb. Oh, thank God Paimon told me I can climb the wall. I never would have figured that out on my own. This is what kind of game you're playing. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? I don't fucking no. You're the one telling me to go to the statue. And by the way, you can walk right up to the statue and nothing happens. You idiot. You can't just find the statue for yourself. No, no. You have to walk to the point marked on the map so you can trigger the cutscene, which isn't at all similar to this cutscene from Breath of the Wild. And now you can follow Paimon to the statue where she pulls you into a cutscene to tell you you can swim across the lake. Thank you, Paimon. Am I playing an open world game or a fucking Skyward Sword? And yes, I will continue to compare this game to Legend of Zelda. If you want to copy Legend of Zelda, then you're going to get compared to Legend of Zelda. Wow, look at that boss fight where I don't even move my mouse. 10 out of 10 story. Wow, look at I'm fighting the Ruins Guard again, but this time he has more health. Joe, Joe, you didn't say anything about the multiplayer. <laughs> the multiplayer! Oh, yeah, she's just not here, bro. It's an empty cage. Why? <laughs> My God, she's so broken. Joe, Joe, you didn't say anything about the end game content. <laughs> the end game content! Genshin Impact is unoriginal, uninspired, boring, repetitive, easy, cringeworthy, and frustrating. 